Hi everyone, I realize that it has been two years since I've posted an updated hair video. So let's take a look at my hair. Today I wore it curly. These are my temple areas here, which as you can see, tons of growth, both here, both on this side. And I wanna update you on what I'm doing. And I am actually not taking Nutrafol and I'm not taking any hair related supplements. So how is my hair like this? And of course, this is all my own hair. Um, how's my hair still thick and what have I been doing to maintain it? Um, I'm here to update you on all of that. One thing I have been doing, and I do it about twice a week, um, is use this rosemary oil that I have another video on. And I really like this brand. It's very pure, it's very natural. I buy it on Amazon. Um, it's about four ounces, $14.99. I'm loving this. I put this on my temples, especially because most of my hair loss is around my hairline and temples when it does happen. And I've had bald spots in the, both these areas. Um, most recently, you know, sometimes I lose hair and it comes back, but I realize when I maintain a few different things, my hair health is always very, very good. So I'm gonna just kind of go over a couple of those. But I do use this twice a week on my, um, just my scalp and I rub it in. So I get, this is the way it works. There's droplets here. So I will get drops. I'll put one here, come here, some here on my hairline, some on the back. And I simply just massage my scalp. I know they see fancy tools. You don't need to do that. I do this for a few minutes. So if you just do it with your fingers. You don't need to buy any scalp tools or do anything fancy. I just go ahead and rub it in here, rub it in back here. And I do this just for a few minutes and it feels great too. And it just gets uh, your scalp stimulated a bit. And then on the ends, um, I've been doing some of this fractionated coconut oil, again on Amazon and very reasonable. Um, it's 100% natural. And then I'll put this on the end. So I will just squeeze this and then I will go like this because you're not supposed to do coconut oil on your scalp. I'll really get in there, get in deep with my fingers on the bottom of my hair as well. Um, and then sometimes I'll altern alternate with the jojoba oil here, and this is a great brand also. And so sometimes I'll do maybe, you know, one day of the coconut and then one day of the jojoba oil, and just twice a week, because as I only wash my hair twice a week because my hair does not get very oily. And I typically put the oils, and I use a sauna, and I go sit in the sauna for about 15 minutes. It really act, the heat activates the oils, and then I wash my hair, and sometimes I straighten it, and sometimes I leave it curly like I did today. But those have really, really helped my hair health. Another thing is I'm iron deficient, so I just supplement with these iron pills. I know a lot of people are iron deficient, one of the main things in iron deficiency or anemia is hair loss and that can be so debilitating so i just make sure and i only take one of these because i test my iron and it seems like it's been maintained well so i've been taking that another very very big thing that i have been watching is my protein intake so guys hair is based on protein intake so whatever kind of protein it is will affect your hair health i at least aim for 30 grams of protein for breakfast lunch and dinner it should be more than that but at least that's a minimum start um, and make sure i have protein enriched foods i know some people are vegetarian so you can do lentils beans chickpeas yogurts eggs um, and if you're vegan, you know, there's plenty of options out there too, but I make sure that I eat all of these things that are protein enriched in order for my hair health to improve. And I have noticed it's vastly improved when I do increase my protein intake. I do chicken, I do red meat, I do everything under the sun, cottage cheese, yogurt, um, eggs. So I think that that is one of the most important components to everything. I think it's great to do supplements. I think it's a good starting point if you are in a severe shedding phase, phase but for long-term maintenance, I think that the most essential and important thing is to have a good protein in your diet alongside using things like the coconut oil, rosemary oil. These are great supplements to a good diet. 
So um, that's my update for everybody. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.